everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back at it today doing the uh, boxing in around the windows. I've got a couple of boards that are ready to go up here. I'm going to show you putting in one of the boxes, but first I want to show uh, the two that I did just the other day. Uh, these are those accordion blinds that I mentioned. Uh, they come down. I, I used them for the first time last night and there was evidence that they were definitely working. There was a little bit more condensation on these windows than these. Condensation on a window isn't necessarily a good thing, it's not a good thing, but it's a sign that they are cutting down on the amount of air that's flowing over. The reason these don't have condensation is because there's a constant supply of new fresh air that's evaporating off the condensation. So I'm going to be working on that, but uh, you know, so far, so, so good, they seem like they're working pretty well. You will notice that on the edges there's a little bit of an uh, uh, air space. Uh, you, know, you can see the light coming through there. Uh, that is... Uh, I knew there was going to be a little bit of a gap uh, on either side. When I ordered these things, it's better to get them a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch too small than uh, too big. So I, I sized them down so that they'd be like about maybe about a quarter of an inch, uh, you know, shorter on uh, you know in terms of the uh, width of them. Uh, I ordered them at 32 and a half inches, and they came at about 32 and a quarter inches. So I added a little bit of reduction, and it seems like the company did too. Um, I don't know, I guess I could complain about that. Maybe I could have gotten on the phone with them and asked, like, you know, with lumber, is like a two by four actually two inches by four inches? No, everyone knows it's actually three and a half inches. Maybe when you order blinds, everyone knows that if you order a 32 and a half inch blind, you actually get 32 and a quarter. I don't know the way these things run. If you order blinds, maybe get on the phone with someone, maybe even better get it in writing, <laughs> and find out the actual dimension of the blinds before they show up. But overall, I'm pleased with them, and they, they seem like they're working out. Uh, pretty well so far. The install was really easy. I might show that in a later video, but you just put up, you screw in a couple of brackets and then click them in. What I wanted to show you in this video is uh, putting in one of these box frames. Now, I mentioned at the last place where I uh, built my last house, I kind of put these boards in individually. I kind of put the sides in, then I put the top in, or vice versa, I forget which way it was. Uh, but the way I'm doing it now is that I'm attaching them all together at the same time. And the reason for that, well, I'll just demo it. The reason for it is when I had uh, attached the boards at the other place, they were only attached to these, uh, you know, uh, posts here. And that made them so that they could kind of wiggle a little bit. Uh, that made for gaps up in the corners up here. It was a little bit of flop because, you know, you can't really support it back out here where the foam is because you can only secure it out over on this end. So what I'm doing is I'm building the whole thing so you get a really rigid corner up in there. So I've got this piece. i got the, uh, this is for the top. I've got the screws already set into it. How was I doing this last time? Oh yeah, kind of setting them up on something about the right height. Getting them up in here. And get the screw gun in there. The video runs on these uh, 360 videos is always infuriatingly short, only five minutes. Uh, so if this gets cut off, I apologize. Go as fast as I can without screwing up. There we go. I'm seating one of the screws. Or not seating. Just getting it engaged. Engaging the other one. Now I'll seat the second one. Oops. And seat the first one. Again, these boards are just made out of the wall boards that I had from the house. But I've got that nice, strong angle up in there. Uh, this one has to actually get flipped around. Like that. I'll take this moment to mention what we're burning in the wood uh, stove right now. Our scraps are uh, pretty much out of wood. And right now what we are doing is just going out and clipping little pieces of uh, wood off trees. Totally functional, but time consuming. But uh, yeah, in about half hour I can get enough wood for a day or two. But that's what we're doing now. We're hoping for spring to come soon so we can be done with that and be better for next year. Okay, that one kind of spun a little bit. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. This one's going to connect really well. Okay, so we got that all set and now we're going to put it up in place. Before I did this, I made sure that this piece actually fit up in there. It was a little snug, but it did fit. So that's a good idea before you put the whole thing together, make sure that the piece actually fits. And these side ones are actually short by half an inch because with the cement going in at the bottom, uh, it doesn't really matter if they go all the way down to the bottom because the cement's going to fill in the hole anyway. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be a